How we doing? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh, Palil, thanks so much for the 22 months. <laughs> it's the jum. It's the jum. I'm on like 18th, but I was attempt. Good morning, Dad. Hope you're well. I am, thank you. Oh, Wellen. We've got Zachum and Wellen here. It's like the gang's back together. I don't think you know how excited I am for this stream right now. Keep your hands above the keyboard, sir. Completely and utterly above the keyboard. Hello, Pest. How are you today? Dr. Arsol. I'm good, mate. How are you doing? Thanks for 33 months. That was the coolest edit video for intro to stream. Glad you liked it. All right, so today, today, we're going to play Escape from Tarkov. We're going to get all the bosses done for Kappa. So we're going to start with Killer until we run out of guns that can kill Killer, I guess. So, killer farming engaged. I was actually thinking about it. Not that I really need the interchange keys. But is there any reason why I couldn't just like... No, not that one. Not that one. Wait, naked SVT run? I miss the old weak legged killer. Those were the days, yeah, when you could lock, uh, leg lock him. He's got leg lock. Uh, link search. Let's buy some mags. I suppose if he is there, though, we want to have armor on. To get past the Hello, fucking pest. scans. Let's get the dubs. Nothing but dubs today, sir. Nothing but dubs. Let's just do it this way. Hello, right. Dad. Pestily star three. Pestily star two. Pestily star one. Well, I suppose we want to buy some grenades, hey? Let's get that sweet success. Sweet success. Bills, yeah, thanks for 16 months. Who am I ignoring? 14 today, surely. I'm go going to write this till Pest sees it. Hello, Papa Pest. I spoke to Mum the other day and she said you're not my real dad. Is this true? She calls me daddy, so I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> Miss Heverlump, thanks for eight months. Now I feel bad because Miss Heffel, I'm through. She's really lovely. I just said that. I'm embarrassed. Um, I have to go do this bloody killer task. YouTube videos have been helpful for me learning Tarkov. Thanks. Appreciate it. No worries, man. I should have insured. Uh, Sterilizer, thanks for the four months. Hello, Pest. Uh, let's get the dubs. Thanks, mate. Quack Wizard, thanks so much for 28 months. Hello, Dad. Hello. Lizia, thanks for six, eight months. Let's get that sweet success. Miss Heavilon with the eight months. Appreciate it. Well, when are we going to go for 1500 rating? I'll go. I'll go. I'll play 14 with you. 
once you're actually serious about trying to get better. But in the meantime, when you're just playing, oh, let's just do this silly stuff. You know? Like, when are we going to train up? We need a 2v1 hero. And the only way we do that is if we get to 14 or 1500 rating. Now, I'm at, I'm at a solid 1, 2, 3, 4 rating. 12.34. What are you at right now? I've been working. Still, I'm going to mandatory military service soon. It's six months. I'm thinking it's too much time. Do you have any advice? I think it'll give you a lot of life skills. You'll learn um, appreciation for the toilet when you, like, as in a toilet seat, when you go to the toilet. It'll give you a sense of urgency. Uh, you'll be a lot faster being able to do stuff. Um, and more efficient and your attention to detail will go up. If you don't have some of the basic life skills like ironing and doing your washing, it will give you that too. So try not to think of it as like, oh my God, six months of my life, but think about what, what skills will this give me to help me enhance my life in the future? How can the Arabia hater say he wants to do serious strats? I actually like Arabia. I just don't want to play it every single fucking game. Wellin. 39, 38, 39, 38, 39, 38. He's here. He's either here or he's not here. But he's potentially here at least. He's more here than before. Where does he spawn now? Chat, where does he spawn? Everywhere. He's here enough that I'm going to put a probe on the hot bar. Could it be underneath? Never except underground. Okay, so he's not everywhere then, chat. I do your Oli Goshen and stores around the center. First and second floor. Right. You are the best. Be him. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, Bashki.
Who's here from YouTube? Hey, Xavier, how you doing, mate? Just turn the power on. Hey, Melly, how you doing? Appreciate all the help and info you've provided over the last seven months. Keep no up the great work and content less than three. Soft, thanks for the five months. Cyanide, thanks so much for the prime. Reality sucks, thanks for seven months. White Dragon, double seven, thanks for 30 months. Jazz, three, seven, three, sorry, seven, three, seven, thanks for 33 months. I did message Nikita, but he didn't respond. There was a lot of shooting over here, but it didn't sound like Killer shooting. Hello? Hello? Be careful about the number of corny jokes you tell. Somebody might threaten to call the crops. Hello? Just looking for killer. Imagination thinks of 19 months. I'll see what you did there. Where is he, chat? He's train on or someone. Hey, pest. Just thought I'd say GL on Kappa Progress whilst I drop in for a few minutes. 
Blabimis. Someone's gone that way. The door's open. Now the grenades now. Thought I'd say good luck on the cover progress while I drop in for a few, few minutes. Thanks, dude. I haven't checked Goshen, but that's pretty much all the major spawns check. Back of Ollie as well. Bring four flashbangs every round, every round. That's it. Probably like eight grenades. Let's go right there. Hello? Are you playing Scavaya? Why are you shooting at me? Over Sir? Year still load your videos. Only on Swifty, thanks for 14 months. Appreciate all the videos recently, really bringing me back to Duckov. Nice, dude. Snow Empire, thanks for 29 months. Fifteen months, baby, let's go. Always cloudy in town. Thanks for 15 months. Server, do you feel has the least cheaters? They're all got cheaters, bro. All comes down to time of day and. Yeah. 
I'd say there's more rage cheaters in Asia and Australian servers, and there's probably more ESP sneaky peeky cheaters on in our EU servers. Okay, so there was no lag. What do you reckon the chances are that he's actually here? We reckon he's already dead in Ollie and we just didn't see him. I mean, idea, not Ollie. Too dark. It's like a daytime raid. What do you want me to do? You need red ping to not get false positives. I mean, you got to play on a high ping server. I don't know how much I believe that. But we could give it a go. Just got covered this morning. How far are you? Congrats. Um, I'm like seven times. It's going to kill bosses. That's it. Um, Greetings of the day, Sir Paul. Greetings, IRJR. Thanks for the nine months. Sir IRJR. I don't think I really need that. Let's leave this one. more of these so pistol runs later 
All right. We go again. It's probably too early in the morning to find Aussies on Twitch. I feel like it's just get a bunch of random Aussies in here and just get them to all split up randomly and find them. I do have to kill goons still, but I can't even kill the goons until I've done Killer and Rashala. I've barely killed a boss on this account. Have such low spawn rates this want, yeah. I have a question. I'm level seven right now, and I'm finishing up the quest on Ground Zero. What map should I focus on learning first from your playlist? So I usually say at the moment, Ground Zero, you should just play all the way to level 15, really, or level 20, um, and just get really comfortable without how to play the game. But um, I would say, Factory to get better at PvP. Unless you're going to do um, some arena to get better. No lag again. Um, Thoughts on the great stank crat. And then probably. So it's really the way I normally say it is factory to learn PvP or get better at PvP. Customs, because you're just going to have to do a heap of quests there anyway early. You don't have to, but you probably get pushed that way. And then I'd say one of the other maps to making money. Woods has a lot of potential to make a lot of money if you just know where to go. Like all hidden stashes. Thoughts on the Great Stank Rat? Honestly, I've, I've pretty much never watched his content. He seems to be having a lot of success, which is cool. But I would say I think he's probably going to be the largest Escape from Taco streamer within the next 12 months. Just from statistics alone. He's growing like 500 to a... A thousand followers a day, which is pretty incredible. Ah, uh, stank rat. All we really need to do now is just have, an, have no life and keep doing what he's doing. Maybe I'll go to Goshen next. Throw a grenade there. Yeah, I've got a, a nose hair tickle on me.
So many people stop moving because of him. Um. Exhill Camper did it before him. General Sand did, did it before Exhill Camper. It's just. You know. There's always been that side of the play base. There's someone either running or. I definitely saw someone here. Power slid over here. The killer? He can W key like a mofo. Like I said, I've, I've pretty much not watched any of his gameplay. about him besides what the statistics side and I guess we go up Weasel, thanks to T1. I always heard someone pivoting in here. Is there any reason the bosses shouldn't be 100% spawn right? <laughs> um, I don't think they should be 100%, but they should just be more consistent. Are you in Finland? No, I'm not.
He was already dialed on. He headshot me already once. Twelve scaps. Can't find a killer for the love of me, though. No. But he four hit me then in the chest. Brr. I killed, sorry, I did, uh, without exaggeration, I did probably 30-ish reserve raids to see Glue Heart twice. And that's what made me just stop playing the other week. I was like, I'm done with fucking boss farming. Look, when you do 30 raids to see him twice, it's just painful. And that was when he was on 24% spawn rate. So you guys really think I should go to a server with high ping so I don't get false positives? Did it work for him? Blawsy? Try and get on. I have 12 hours of watch time on Stan Crow. I don't know, maybe someone raided him that when I was finishing my stream or something. Or so when I was watching a stream or something, I just turned the monitor off. Or someone I raided, raided him afterwards, and I just got raided to them. Oh, honestly, I'm not even following him. He streams when I'm like, not on my computer. I just need to get these bosses down train. I'm I'm constantly just running around not finding them. Just help it's it saves the running time in half if you get on. Do you wanna help out? Give me half hour, I'll get out of bed. Watch your raid season three and really liked it, but time goes by and I kind of forgot EFT until recently. Now I'm watching your hardcore series and can't wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching, dude. What do you think about upping the spawn rate of bosses in sessions joined by people over a certain level? Like one point plus one percent. 
No, it doesn't need to be that technical, Mr. Pixel. I, I get it. Like, the best option I think the BSG should do, keep it in the same current format they've got, like 25% spawn rate, but have certain times of the day where it's 100%. Like, between 6 a.m. and six uh, and 8 a.m., it's Rishala's 100% spawn rate. As in, like, in-game time, not IRL time. And then, like, you know, between 10 a.m. and midday is, like, Sturm is 100%. Like, Sanitas, like, 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. You know, it's just, like, and then that way it's, like, if you really, really just want to kill the boss, you know that at that time of the day you could just go in there and it's 100%. And you'll be fighting other people for it, but at least you know. Like, that's the simplest and easiest way that people will be able to, like... Work it out without being anything ridiculous. Imagine having to grind killer before going to work. Imagine grinding killer being your work. Stealthy Druid, thanks for the four months. Bushy Long Dong, thanks for 12 months. Sick raid, guys. Sick raid. Now that the map is updated, has anyone done a wipe challenge? To enforce travel through Tarkov. Like, first raid, starting at ground zero to get to shoreline. Yeah. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while, but... Add weekdays to Tarkov, let it cycle through each day night cycle, then the bosses can get different days of the week. Another perfectly fine, acceptable thing. On Tuesdays, we go to Mall. On Wednesdays, Regular Tuesdays. A slash. Juxta, thanks for 73 months, dude. Hope you've been wrong. Long, long time ago. Juxta subscribed to a pleb streamer named Pestily when he was affiliate. Now fast forward six and a half years. Juxta's still there and sinking beers. While Pestily still looks for the same fucking bosses. Animax. Animax. Thanks for the prom. Have you done the guide? Yep. First raid of the day, factory, seven seconds in, turn corner to Gila. Tarkov isn't for today. I don't know, I'd be pretty happy if I found a boss seven seconds in. Can you please put a video saying Violet Keycard is dog shit so the price goes down? But it's not dog shit. Violet keycard would be one of the better ones at the moment. 
No, you don't need Colonte and Cabana for Kappa. I've done Cabana. Oh, sorry, I've done Colin. I've killed Cabana. I haven't killed Gus or something. All these other mates. This is my message to Nikita last week. Oh, sorry, yesterday. Yesterday. Weekly nudge to increase bot spawns chances. No response. Today. Please smiley face. His response. Okay. Just a letter K. Okay. I'm going to need to find a gif. I need a gif to send back to him. Stare. I need a stare gif. I sent this to him. Focus camera. I was going to do that chick. You know the chick that's sitting in the back seat of the car, like the little girl, and she's like. But this guy looks like he's had his like soul crushed by seeing that message. Any tips on doing the trophies task? Fastest uh, way to get dog tags is factory. But if you want to get high level dog tags faster, labs. You will find a lot of level 50 pluses in labs. My guess is going to be in plain sight, middle of the mall, left-hand side of Kiba. Yeah, boss farming is another way to find high-level high level dog tanks. Found a green card, congrats. Make sure you get out of life so you can sell it. North Dragon Gaming, thanks for the four months. How many killer kills do we need? We just need his fucking helmet and, and him dead. So, a few, I guess. What way do we go from here? In and up the ramp through Ollie? Middle of the mall, maybe. We'll go this way, because then if he's not there, we can just leave. Hey. All right, it's not there we leave. Scrimmer, thanks for seven months. North Dragon Gamer, thanks for four months. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you want you what's my dailies maybe we should reset the dailies if we can get one that's surviving to change 15,000 times Nambleton 69 takes to 22 months Shield 36 takes to 51 months long time bro
First, how's your mental health? Are you still there, mate? I'm actually really good at the moment. Really solid. I have a shitload of money. Should I just buy a lot of SJ6s? I'm going to bring another injector case. One for propitals, one for SJ6s. The Vlurt, thanks to nine months. Because it'd be really sucky if he spawns in and someone else beats me to him. Yeah, but not Meldonan lasts 15 minutes, but it also has... um. It also has a... Uh, food and energy consumption, but I suppose that's fine. I'm nearly at max metabolism anyway. We try Grey Zone, War Zone, warf Warfare when it comes out. Yes. It looks like it has good potential, but I'm, I'm very hesitant to think that it's going to be great straight out, straight out the gate. All right, let's buy a heap of Maldonans. We'll just pop them every day, every age. Maldon. Where's my other injector case? Where is my other injector case? I definitely have a second injector case. Where the fuck is it? While you do this. Am I blind? I must be. What the fuck? 20 med tools. They're like 20k each. That's 400k. 15 syringes and H2O2s. 15 sets, what, not 300k. That's 700 plus. It's about 900. I'll just top them up. I definitely have a second one. Because when I go labs, I take two. My stash is organized. I don't know what you guys are on about. Happy? All clean now. It does remind me I should put these here. Oh, overweight. Underweight. Overweight. Exclamation mark song. If you ever want to know what the song is.
trim it all. I've got to be careful because of the Maldonas I just bought. Should really be putting these away. Too easy to make money in Tarkov right now. Way too easy. All right, we go again. Crane's got herself locked out of her type of account. Thanks for keeping Six star me for 101. for this Thanks for long. Porsche 911 GT3, thanks for seven months. Ash, I'm good, mate. Saw you in Harris chat a few hours ago. You've been up all night? No, I get up early. Boris is going to get hair implants. Have you considered? I'm quite comfortable in my skin, mate. Not to say that Glorious isn't, but I guess the boy oh, I see it is All right. This might be up. I don't really like as long as I'm healthy. I don't really care about my looks. 
Like I want I want to be clean and I want to be healthy. That's it. Um before I started content creation, like oh no. Last raid, not a single sound. This raid, four fucking people shooting. That's still a pip in my team. RPD just kills me and kills all like that. Oh, fuck off. Literally four raids, didn't even see a player. Heard one shot in four raids. Killers in there, fucking five people running from every direction. No, that wasn't this. Sorry, that was the guy using a um, AXMC apparently. No, he had an RPD. Look. Look at this, RPD on his back. How long have we been going today? An hour and 15 minutes to get the first spawn. And then there's fucking that. The average survival time is a broken stat. Don't even like, think of it. I swear everyone just rushes bosses these last two wipes. It's because everyone needs to get the fucking boss kills to get Kappa. And then there's another quest that makes you get 15 kills of every boss. And then there's like... RNG chances where Killer won't even have his helmet on. Rashala won't have his pistol. So even if you do kill him, you might have to go back and kill him two or three more times just to get the actual weapon that you need. So it's pretty understandable why every boss is getting farmed by like four players at a time every single raid. It's just stupid. Nah, Killer's Helm's not even 100% anymore. I suppose we can go to these. Not gonna change much.
Killer was already dead before I even got there, so I had to get him again anyway, even though he did kill that guy. Toast track, Ross, toast track, Ross. Oh, but thanks so much for the 16 months, dude. You think going in with a VPO and a red dot is a good strat for shooter bond? Yeah, if you're not very good at shooting people at long range, then yeah. I do think it's a good PLS, good buy my green card. No. Blam, I've already got one. Alright, ads on loading so you don't miss any of the raid. A blind man walks into a bar, then a chair, then a table. Blankies. Blankies? Oh. Oh. Everyone can only thanks for 37 months. Vrumagun, thanks for 9 months. AV8 and Game, thanks for 17 months. I think I might make a coffee. Maybe get the breakfast ready. Did it lag? I even had the spawn four killer. Last game. The guy bit me in the front door, but. The Rasta takes the 16 months. This one's got the full auto.
still loving the hardcore series, suffering with you when shit gets rough, pestily salute. Cream cheese bagel. Fucking die. Fucking whole bloody map trying to find him. Told me to go to a high ping server to get the accuracy up, but I'd rather not be on a fucking super sweaty server than have less. I have to search a few extra times. Thanks, KB. Welcome, dude. But Jules, thanks for five months. Hi Pest. Pestily salute. Cypher, so thanks for 33 months. For the GT 1990 is worth it. Uh, if you've got the money to spend, like the disposable income.
You know when he's up, because there's like six players on top of him fucking shooting. And he's like brrrr, everywhere. That last game with the PB19 was their best chance. Ocean and no backpack. Does anyone chat? Anyone know how many times Pesto needs to kill Killer? Once. I haven't killed him yet. This has been the story of my fucking wipe for for my main account. My hardcore account, I've actually had the bosses pretty like a lot of success, but for for my main account, it's honestly been ridiculous. Yo, 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 yo. I was literally on the way out. Like, fuck for that. I killed him today, too, Two man. Uh, but, man, got extra camped here with an impact. So I get him a second time a few raids like that. Not bad. Uh, Kung Fury or King Fury, thanks for two years, dude. You're way more patient than me, Pest. Well, I'm not far off finishing the actual whole playthrough. Less than three. All right, now we're just going to get... Rishala done.
Work, work. Job work, done. work. Uh, what do I want to use for Ashala? It's actually pretty good to use this because if you run out of ammo, you can use his boy's ammo. I've got BP. Let's just use BP. Customs keys. And cash for the car. For this one, I just need to get um his golden TT. I don't even need to kill him. And then I got to kill his boys as well. What do you guys think? We actually use the Intels. Are Intel expensive at the moment because of the scav runs on the hideout? Like, that has to be the reason why the, the, like the Gambit, yeah? Sell. I've got 15 and a half million in every key in the game. Fine. Jack wants me to sell. Doesn't want to have a bit of Gambit fun in their life. All right, uh, we need a full group. Get a food. Nah, kills anywhere now. All right, uh, I'm gonna finish making my coffee. Add on loading so you don't miss any of the rain. Ow! 66 months. 66 Why is Nikita months? making me go labs to get some stupid device to be able to upgrade the Intel Center to level three? I guess I should go watch a video on YouTube about labs and where one could find anything and everything there. Do you have any suggestions, Mr. Streamer? Sixty-six months. Why is Nikita making me go labs to get some stupid device to be able to upgrade the Intel Center to level three? I guess I should go watch a video on YouTube and about labs and where one could find anything and everything there. Do you have any suggestions, Mr. Streamer? No. About the Finland video, did you guys plan the plot before or did it just happen? And just rolled with it. Last so hard at the end. Um, I think by the end, uh, Michael said this is how he wanted it to go down. But like, I think at the start that they wanted to do this like full survival thing. They were gonna like cut trees down and I don't know, make bridges and shit. But then like when we got there, there was no trees, so they were like, "Fuck, what do we do now?" Simon DeBesh, thanks for 42 months. The next video is actually going to be fucking loose. I haven't seen, I haven't seen any of the footage for the next video because I, like, I wasn't there. So it's Michael and I go to Finland, uh, go to Helsinki, and we're like 
enjoying our time in Helsinki. And then Jared and Decky are driving the car back from the north of Vinland down Just to, uh, to say Stockholm. Thanks for the years of entertainment. Still and they, remember your old school guides about going to dead servers to do interchange lion runs. Love you, mate. Thanks, Virg. Thanks for five months. Um, and Jared and Decky like buy an inflatable raft and and row out to an island off the coast of Sweden and get stuck on an island and get saved by the Coast Guard. So. Was there a most memorable scenery on your last Europe trip? Norway was pretty fucking intense, bro. When we, when we went to the, like the troll area and you go up the big like mountain and the waterfalls there and all that. Very picturesque, that country. But all of Scandinavia, really. Thirty-five months sub, thirty-five month daughter only way to enjoy Tarkov now. Thanks, dude. Pestily, bestily. Am I watching? Nakilo, thanks for 26 months. Physio, thanks for 35 months. Do you, you all fly from a home to a country every so often, or does how or how does your trips work? Last year, we did two trips. Both of them were about five weeks each, where we flew to Europe from our home countries and traveled around Europe together. This year, um, the current plan, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but we're looking to just going to Africa and climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. We were meant to do the highest peak of uh, France, but it's in the the only time we could get in there to do it was July, August, and um, a couple of a couple of us have stuff on in uh, July and August. So the next best time to do it is going to be next year. So. What time are we looking at for this one? Forty-five. Somewhere around there. So either Goons or Rochelle is up this road. Nope, he's not up. It's a 30, it was 38. So what, now we're just running up. Riveting shit. Five point three. Maybe four point six. Wait, how can you tell he wasn't up? Uh, this is exclamation mark lag. That sounded really low. Low. If we do it at night time, we might be able to get the cultists. We do night time. Customs is an easy map to learn, but it's a horrible map if you're new to the game. Like, 
it's got a lot of choke points, so a lot of PvP. It's unavoidable. The coldest calls will hang. Even if they do, well, still we get to kill the coldest. Hello? Go get him, pest. <sighs> Immunity is on twenty seven point three. Hi, Dad. Hello. Iron Lung. Thanks for the uh, 13 months. Lawful. Thanks for the uh, 21 months. What was it on? Something point three. How was that a run through? I headshot a, a scav. It's bullshit. Could you transfer one item from the main account to hardcore account? What would it be? I don't know, something for Gunsmith, probably. You need two headshots now? Nah, it's 200 loot XP or kill XP Zaysa. Is it worth to buy Arena for getting better at gunfights? I think Arena is fun. I don't think Arena has longevity right now. So it did go up. There's no, there's no hardcore today, Verge. Do, 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 do. I'm on the main account. None of this stuff's on YouTube. All right, go again. But we're going for Kappa, which is exciting. Yep, eventually. I gotta get through, I gotta get Kappa on the main account first and I have to do unlock Lightkeeper so I can do my woods. Well, I don't need Lightkeeper for the woods guide, but I still gotta fill my woods guide and my lighthouse guide. And then after I do those two, I need to do other gods if this I week. got good at Tarkov and you and bleached I, your anus, next week's all we'd hardcore. have two things in common. Does this make you my dad? Yes. I don't know. Greg it. <laughs> Why were the tough questions? Thanks for, thank you for the 16 months. It's possible. And thanks to the advice of the guide yesterday, I was able to do it first try also. Thanks to my buddy Sacrifice. Yep. <laughs> yeah, nighttime, nighttime, uh, so you do customs, factory, labs, and then everything not. 
I am once again asking for when the team is getting back together for the next podcast episode. Also I think you should know my girlfriend has the same name as my grandmother on whenever she and I are having sex I start thinking about my girlfriend. What? Next to 26 months. I'm no longer a part of the team. We're all going our separate ways or doing our own thing. What quest do I have left for Kappa? I've got to get Rashala's golden TT and kill his boys. Then I've got to kill Glucka and then do the Raiders quest after Glucka. And then I'm going to kill goons. And then I have Kappa. Ripcord, thanks for the 40 months. Does anyone read um, Ask Reddit After Dark? It's like my, it's like my bedtime reading these days. So before death is over? No, different things. The team is different to before death. I guess no one reads it. It's pretty addictive to read. I peruse Reddit, but not after dark. It's like, you know how there's like ask Reddit. So if you've got like a question, you ask Reddit. It's like ask Reddit after dark. It's like the not safe for work version. So people ask questions that it's like not appropriate for the workplace. And it's just funny. It's Southern, thanks to 29 months. Some of the some of the questions just I'm trying to think of like one of them that stood out. I'll just open it. Decent spawn for Dorms. Is he up? Well, he we could be. To the Himmel Goons. Do Floshin, thanks for the 15 months. What spawn rates? 20. Five or twenty six percent, depending on the map. Probably gonna bring that here. This is the spot that's gonna get me killed, so. How is there two people already in dorms looting and fucking holding marker?
I'm dead. Charlie can spawn a stronghold. The big 12 months already. Keep up the good work, Pest Daddy. He's here. It's an honor 07. Sir Pestily salute. Is that upstairs? Could he be downstairs? That'd be really awkward if he's downstairs. Pestily salute. Was not here to fuck spiders, I can tell you that much. There was like five people at dorms. One in thir three story, one in, s sorry, one in top st floor of three story, one in the middle of three story, one in two story, one I killed outside three story, and another one pushing me at three story. How many raids is what? And then you get Killer, Rashala, and his boys within three raids. Um, I know 500 on the main account, I think. You were there to lick stamps and lick stamps you did.
Boss spawn rate is now 30%. <laughs> it must have only just happened. How do you know it's 30%? Now we have stray dogs. All right. The hardest part about stray dogs is getting chat to agree on what map it's on, they're on. Yeah, I don't really take keys into reserve. All right, if we can get Glucker now, then we're on a good streak. So it's, we get Glucker, then we get, we're going to do Raiders after that. And then we do Stray Dogs and then we do Hunting Trip and then we're on Kappa. Paracord, I got no backpack. Did you get Cappy yet? No, we're doing it right now. We're getting it done. Getting her done. How do you get over gear for you? Uh, you need to learn how to make money and then you need to like force yourself to use kits that you feel uncomfortable using and you will just eventually get to the point where you feel that you can do it. Does the lag work on, on Glucker? Didn't know you came to Stockholm last summer. So sad I missed you. I posted on my Instagram and my Twitter. No, because of Raiders.
This should hopefully give Max um, metabolism more close to it. There it is. Max metabolism. First max skill. Looks like he might have run around the back. This is risky. I don't know if I should be doing this. Got him. Oh, I will have fun clearing. Whoa, die! Thank you. What do you got for me? I'm using a mixture of BT, BP. Thankfully, you hit the arm that was already healing, like it was the one getting CMSed. I 
Hello? Ah, uh, they were players. Four raids, three bosses. What did Nikita do? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got three with that one nade. Untamable pit pair, thanks for the prime. Uh, Benito Supreme, thanks for two months. Another less than 50% one towards 34. more. Yeah, it's not damaged enough anyway. How's it going, Pestily? Good, mate. Even Evan Gwynn, thanks for 20 months, dude. Trezric, thanks for 34 months. Benito Supreme, thanks for two months. Do you need Lightkeeper for Kappa? No, you don't. I don't miss it, someone. All right, and that in. Kill six raiders. How far are you with hideout management and crafting skill? Hideout management is at 25. Crafting's at 9. Hideout management, I always make sure it's running 24-7. All, uh, all my stuff. Except for the water filter, obviously, because when you go to bed and that, you can't keep it going. Hey, Pest, you, you know if BSG have it on their radar to fix the bug, we're using armor repair kits, not repairing certain parts of the armor? I have no idea, bro.
Right. So what's left now? Sturman. A hunting trip. Fuck me, I hate this task. What else do I have left? That's all that needed. Got a grenade, a couple of grenades, cash for the car. So we'll take the cash down here and take the customs one. CMS here, I reckon. Because, just to confirm, hunting trip and. A razor part two. EFT wiki hunting trip. There's nothing after it. EFT wiki razor part two. There's nothing after it. Cool. So I need these two stray dogs. I don't think there's a task after that either. EFT wiki stray dogs. All right. And then I've got collector after that. Wally Wonky, thanks for the four months. 90 X one X-ray, thanks for 31 months. I don't know if I have all the cover items. I'd be close. There's 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then I've got like stuff down here too. 28, 29, 30. Beard oil. Already, already got that there. I don't think I've got the bear. 31, 32. I'm missing John B glasses. I actually picked them up the other day. I must have sold them. So yeah, the bear, John B glasses. Did the war light get finished? I got the bear there. Ah, uh, no, it's not finished yet. It's closer, and there's the Dan exit, so.
You might be right with the golden rooster as well. So yeah, golden rooster and glasses. That's it. That's not much. The John B's might take a little bit just by farming scavs, but that's not too bad. And the um, rooster's easy. Uh, but I can show you the wall art. Uh, I'll go turn the light on so you can see it. I want to pivot that to the right a little bit as well. Uh, we're going woods, aren't we? Yeah, so he's got he's got two days left to finish it. He's got to paint the whole balcony to be like blended into the sky, and then yeah, and put all the names on the walls. So he's got to do all the tombstone names, and then the last of the names will get blended into the sky. Cubs, thanks for the nine months, dude. Car there. Well, if... If Sturman's up, not up, sorry, but the timer doesn't count, then maybe the goons will be up, right? Alright, so, no lag. There's a fairly high chance that Sturman's up or the goons, right? If the goons are on woods at the moment, So it's either Goons or Sherman Top. Deal to try and fight the goons with the M700, but someone's throwing flashbangs. And Otter, thanks for five months. If there's a dude throwing flashbangs, there's no shot that Sturman's here. So it has to be goons, right?
No, I think someone's throwing, throwing flashbangs out to try and get Sturman to move around. My friend has had Kappa for two weeks. Is he cheating? Oh, you can determine that, bro. Someone in the game got Kappa. Does that mean they're a cheater? No. Did he get the Kappa in two weeks? Is it his first two weeks playing the game? Ever? Then maybe. Quite possibly. Man, I wish I had a thermal. Artist quest? Mm. Some people would be shooter born. Now I need to bait them. They are here. Well, that just a scab, wasn't it? Cause it looked like he had a pilgrim on. A better way to approach this. I don't reckon they're here. Four years with Papa Pest was in a work meeting. What quest we on now? We did Killer. We did Rashala. And we did um. They can't spawn at Big Rock in the middle. Well, bottom thanks the four years did. And we did Glucker. So now we're working on hunting trip and goons. Was this the one I get the most false positives in packet loss?
Ich helfe ihm mal mit, hey, du. Any tips to tackle shoot part 8 or cap a quest done but this? I did mine on factory. It's just three headshots without dying, isn't it? Do it on, you can do it on factory. Good morning, Pest. Hope the bosses are being cooperative today. Honestly, dude. More progression today than I had like in five streams. There was there was a stream that I did nine hours straight farming Glucker and didn't kill him. And today we got Killer Glucker and Rashala done. So and Rashala's boys. So I think at the start of this I had eight tasks to go and now I've got four to go. Goons. Um, hunting trip, raiders, and collector. I could probably get the John B classes by just doing a scav run with some viewers, like if anyone has their... Has the John B glasses on their scav. Like if I was worried about trying to get it quickly. It'd be the fastest, easiest way. I'm now joined 1.5 and 1.6% of the play base by Killer Glucker and Killer. What's my rarest achievement? Drunken Master? Hello again. Exhibit Andy, thanks for four months. How you going, mate? Oh my god, what the fuck barbecue you too? Thanks for 26 months. Any opinion on what scope I should get on my M700 IRL? I think I've got a Schmidt and Bender on mine. Or on my, my uh, 7.62 bolt here. 3 eight. I was going to buy the, um, the Razor.
um, and it's like a two thousand dollar site. And I spoke to the guy that I buy my guns through, and he's like, amazing site, but because I'm in Australia, if there's any like, any like, because I think they come with a lifetime warranty. And he goes, but if there's any issues with them, you're gonna have to send it to America to get fixed, which means you'll probably go like four to six months without getting your site back. And it's like, fuck. I was like, all right, fine. I'll pass. Just buy two and rotate. Right, no. Two thousand dollar site, just buy multiple, you know. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, fuck, what was it? Oh, I remember now. Different one, is it? Why ain't I doing it? A yeah, preset. Select weapon. Assemble. Be right back, gonna put pizza in the oven. Gamba up. Gamba. Up. Do 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 do. Did the collider sell yet? And did you want to install the sound system in another vehicle or just set it up in the shed? Um, I had someone email me I've got to respond to. It was like a month ago, but I probably don't want it anymore. Um, but I haven't actively like tried to sell it. I saw your tweet about streamers abusing drops. How uh, was wondering how your subathon with five of your friends every wipe is different at all. Firstly, um, it wasn't during drops, but even if it was, it's still live content and it's still people. Like, it's like think of it as like we're a broadcast TV channel and we're constantly making live like content instead of just literally putting up a vod or a fucking random weird image, just saying hey get get your free drops here.
So like generally when I have people come over, for example, Toast or Train or Red Ops and that, we also try and plan to make fun content instead of it just being like, just play video games. Like when I got all the boys over and that for the Kappa Speed run or when Red Ops and I uh, did it on the last wipe, it was like, we're both going to work together to try and speed run to Kappa. You know, like it's a... It's like an actual, it's, it's, think of it as like an event. So it's not just me just trying to get my channel live 24 seven. It's literally, we're doing it as an event. And I think that's why it's received so well as well. Like people really enjoy it. The stuff we put on. What am I doing in woods? Trying to get, um, try and get Sturman from 100, uh, sorry, from 60 meters away or whatever it is. Yeah, there's a, definitely a massive difference in effort put in and content shows, obviously. Results show too. Okay, I'm fucking disoriented as fuck. All right, I know where I am. No lag. Because it's normally the 45 second mark. So it's, if he's not here, it's Dunes. Nice. Mr. Euro, thanks for 10 gifted subs. But the, the issue with the whole drops thing, AFK 24 seven streams, like, I'm trying not to be rude, but you're, if someone AFK 24-7 drops, like, to farm fucking ad revenue and get their, like, and, uh, and to stay at the top of the category because they're live 24-7, they're pretty much saying fuck you to everyone smaller than them. And so I don't see it as like, and, and it's by smaller than I say streamers, like smaller content creators, which in my opinion, it's like, I guess rude. And I think they should do better. He's definitely up because of, motherfucker. I've been breaking my leg every time hey, now on that. Dad. Because, like, it, it doesn't affect the viewers. The viewers are like, fuck yeah, I get my drops. Easy done. Like, it, like that's why the Twitter post, the only people that, like, seemed to, like, no one, no, no streamer wanted to call them out because, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. Not distasteful, but people don't like calling out streamers when they're doing the wrong thing. As someone who controls and that's why no, the stream, no other streamer commented on my post, even though I was, I was 100% right. Me. And it's the biggest streamers that should be calling them out because it's unfair. Like the smaller streamers will just come across as like being jealous. Whereas the biggest streamers are the ones that really should be holding the other people to the highest standard by saying, hey, fucking don't do it. Because, like, quite easily, I could have just gone live. Is that... I'm just going to shoot. No. Oh. I don't think he's up. If he is, he's not moving. Or he's not anywhere I can see from up here. Well, people don't like getting involved in Pestily drama, and I get that. Mate. But like, like I was about to say, like, I could easily just go live 24-7 drop stream and just fucking put a video on and walk away for the week. You know what I mean? And then everyone gets fucked over. But I don't, because I, I think it's, I think it's wrong. Set my ads to 21 minutes an hour, make thousands of dollars in ad revenue.
Um, thanks for 21 months, dude. Panda Burr, thanks for 31 months. Joe Hell, thanks for 6 months. The Booch, thanks for 30 months. Green G9, thanks to Prom. I miss you, Thanks for those 10 gifted. Can we get some salutes up in the chat? Sorry, I was a little bit distracted. Trying to find Sturman. I guess another way of looking at it is without drops, there's no way I would have had as big a boom on my channel as I did. Why can't other people have that opportunity without other people taking it away from them? With like abusing lame methods of content creation. And then I, I got there's so many reasons like I could just fight in so many ways. And the only reason people don't care more is because it really only affects streamers. So the only people that are going to make a fuss about it are streamers. So. So. I don't think Sturman's up and I think someone just threw a nade at the goons. Or where the goons are. We would have heard someone getting smacked by an SVD right now. If I don't think Sturman actually makes any voice ones, does he? Do we go check the goons? I think we do. Yay, Prime. Neglin, thanks for two months. Bit of a run, but... Nah, there wasn't lag. Worrying that there's someone threw a grenade over here though. So if the goons was up and someone's good enough to kill them, they're probably dead. They're like these nades going off. But that, those nades are actually either someone baiting the goons or fighting the goons. So. Months, Papa. I'm Super loving Teddy, the thanks for six months. Series on YouTube. I'm glad. Your content is amazing. Less than three. Thanks, dude. Seventy percent sure I heard someone to the right. What's the goon spawn chance? I know they're definitely on woods at the moment. train went back to bed.
I normally fought him from that rock. Have normally there? They're not here. Are they already dead? Uh, Amont 21987, thanks for 9 8 months. Yeah, I think it's just woods, area lemon. I've always had a lot less success on woods with the whole lag thing. The one that was probably throwing grenades over here. Hello? He was on the interchange? Yeah. If Sturman was up this raid, he died in the first, like, one minute. So that guy was the uh, loud M4. And he never shot a shot. So has anyone seen goons in the last, like, I don't know, two hours? Just fill the lag spike or watch it for it on the monitor. Uh, watch it. Well, we'll just keep going between woods and. Oh, sorry, um, goons and Sturman, and hopefully we find one of the two. Oh no, that's fucking not good. Peek it. 
I'm so so in the open right now. I didn't whiff, I hit him straight in the chest. Kobe. Yo, pest. Here's your monthly doubloons, your modern day Robin Hood, you. <laughs> Bro, lines. Thanks for the 26 months. Drop these back. You gotta put them in your vest or leave one more behind. Seven bear.
He's probably doing peacekeeping mission. Moist. Love your dad. Thanks for great content. Have a great week. Nice, dude. Reborn, thanks for the tier 3 for 19 months. Can we get some salutes up in the chat for the tier 3 sub for 19 months? It's the RFB I had on Light Lighthouse. I don't want this. I just installed the game today. Playing in offline mode or, or as a scav for now. It's very complicated. Map is too big. Uh, check out my raid series. My new player playlist. It's quite smart new. Could hopefully help you. What's needed for Kappa? Hunting trip, goons, and kill some raiders. Oh, wrong one. There's one minute left on this. All right, got an impact made too. Why not?
Did you buy these filters early or why do you, how do you, why do you have so many? I bought a hundred of them for like 20 K each and I turned each of them into pretty much 1.5 to 1.8, um, waters. So for 20 K I turned into around 250, 300 K each. Sauce, uh, pan can. I'm glad you like the hardcore series. I like to do that with sugar early on too. Uh, I stockpile sugar. Moist chat. Any idea? Okay, where the cancel auto and new is? I feel like an addict with a subscription to Pest and Twitch Turbo. Either that, or I just have way too much money. Okay, <laughs> cool. Walker. Thanks for the tier three for forty-four months. Do 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 do. I'm hungry, chat. We get some sleuths up the chat for that tier three sub for 44 months. Super long time. I got Twitch Turbo because I like to just randomly peruse channels without having to like watch ads every time I click on one. I'm going to make my oats.
YouTube Premium is goaded. I don't know, like, about you guys, but being able to, like, close your phone and be able to have video still play, no ads, and um, download videos to play, like, on your phone at any time. Like, so if you fly a lot, oh, my God. I download, like, man, there's no boss this one. I download so many videos when I'm flying and stuff. And the good part about it is that, I, like, I like personally is, um, it supports the creators really well. So, for example, if you, um, like, I, I can't remember how much YouTube Premium is. Just, I'll use an easy number. Say it's ten dollars, and you watch only one creator ever on YouTube then that creator will get like seven bucks of it or some shit. free to make those features available as a developer. Give it ad, ads keep the platform alive. So taking those ads away, they need to receive something instead. And then being able to support creators on the platform with the money that you give also is beneficial. So they can't give for free. The video playing in the background. I w I, the only thing that I would argue against that is they probably just don't want... Imagine how many people would take advantage of that feature if it was free. And then how much extra usage... Um, it would cause YouTube. And then on top of that... I'm only assuming, but... How would they run ads to people that are using that feature? Like if you've got... If you've got a video playing and your phone, like, locked, which is what I do heaps, like, with podcasts and stuff, how would they control, but how would they be able to issue out an ad to make money? So then you're actually getting audio-only ads, like, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I missed. I hit him. I'm so dead. In this video or some shit. He had a flu. Well, he was hunting Sturman. It looked like he was using a SIG, a new SIG spear gun. I shot him through the arm into the chest. There's death in a while.
Um, let's put all my meds in here now, didn't I? Five, six. Just need an armor. We go again. There's no stamina goons in that one anyway, so no big loss. All right, ads. Gonna grab my oats, and I'm back in a sec. People are running like thermals on woods while I'm trying to find Sturman. It's going to be hard for me to have a chance to even kill him. Hey now, Pest, keep up the great work. Thanks for your educated and informative vids. They help a lot. Average man, thanks for four months, man. No problem. I'm hungry. Zephyr All Mace, thanks for 37 months. Uh, Fucked 87, thanks for the 44 months. How was the latest arena experience? Um, How was the latest arena experience? I did a big sesh with Red, Tube, Train, and Harms. And uh, we went 28 wins, two losses. It was a lot of fun. And... Um, the change that they put in today, I think, was a huge improvement to the current match, like MMR system. And uh, if they they got to keep making these good changes. It's going to take a while, but they got to keep making them.
From a viewing perspective, Arena is boring as fuck. Yeah, I get it. If they want to use this tier system for the gear, they need to, um, they need to make it so you can have multiple tiers selected at the same time. It's really funny, actually, because when, when I said before Arena came out that, that Arena, like, it will probably have a, a solid player base, but it'll be completely dead as a viewing category on Twitch. So many of you guys were like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Because I was like, because I go, look at CS. Unless there's a tournament on, no one fucking watches people play CS. All right. Unless it's someone opening cases or it's like a big streamer that generally has a big audience no matter what they do. No one watches people play CS. And it'll be the same for Arena. Which it is. Um, am I going to get blown up? Lag. Wait, what? CS is fucking awesome to watch. No one watches CS unless it's a tournament. Like an actual, like, competitive match. Vidarix, thanks for seven months. All these streams are like the big tournament. This dude's doing a skins giveaway, opening cases, I assume. Who is this dude? He's got 6,000 followers, but he's got 17,000 viewers. 16,000 viewers. Hi. How, that's how CS always is. He's one of the pros. Which way got popular again? It's not to say that people don't watch the category at all, but um, to make it like a, like Arena will never have a consistent large viewership it, like for Tarkov. And same with like, and, and you got to think about like, Counter-Strike has what, probably half a billion people that have played it over, over like existence. Tarkov would be lucky to get a few million to play arena. So there'll be nearly zero. There's like nearly zero opportunity for content creation, which has been um, BSG's main advertising for Tarkov is being content creators. So I don't know why, like, or I don't know how Arena is going to survive long term. And that's before the actual game even has the game properly made and good. Because, like, 
Arguably, the bones of arena is there. Like, that could flourish into something awesome. But it's... Was Arena worth making for BSG in your opinion? Um, I haven't properly thought about it, but my theory kind of is, and this is probably fucking first hot tank. My theory is, I think BSG is probably going to release Tarkov as a 1.0 at the end of this year. And if they release it as a 1.0, what do they have to, like... To push out like obviously there's gonna be new content that comes with 1.0 i really need to kill this guy he's gonna get me killed about you do, do you fucking mind I think the game's ready for a 1.0. Um, Content-wise, if they put Terminal into the map in the main storyline, then it's 100% ready for 1.0. Does it still have a lot of things that they need to fix? Yeah, 100%. But content-wise, it's pretty much there. One map and a storyline, and that's it. Done. Tarkov can go 1.0. So I would hope that the next wipe would potentially be terminal with the map terminal in the mid year. And then, but not just that they have mostly focusing on um, as many improvements to the game, quality of life fixes, all that kind of stuff. And then at the wipe at the end of the year should hopefully be 1.0 release. And if BSU was smart, they would do it in like November. So then people go crazy over the same period. What about Unity upgrade? I don't need the Unity upgrade to 1.0 it. Okay, so it's just completely on the back burner. Cool. I don't know exactly what BSG's plans are, but you asked me, what about Unity? They don't need the Unity upgrade to go to 1.0. So your reference is, if your question is about if they need Unity to go to 1.0, no. Should they do it? Of course. I just buy the cheapest Vard Divers because I'm just trying to farm the bosses to get the Kappa. Do you think Tarkov without Watts would be what it is today? No, it'd be dead. What do you have left for Kappa? Uh, kill Glocka. Sorry. Kill Sturman from like 80 meters away with this gun um killed 10 raiders or whatever it is eight raiders and goons and that's it i got killer done rashala done rashala's minions and glucker all done today so 
four of the last eight tasks I need, I've got done. If I wanted to get another one done, I could do a couple of labs and get the Raiders done and leave it down, get it down to just uh, Sturmy and that. Is the storyline supposed to be in single player or multiplayer? Um, BSG did say something along the lines that they were thinking about doing it. So the first like five or 10 tasks you do solo, like with no PVP, and that would be the tutorial. But I don't know. I don't know if they'll do that. And um, the the main storyline is so you escape from Tarkov and you can finish the game. So the whole thing's meant to be, and Nikita has said that he doesn't know exactly how it's going to be yet, but he does like the idea that you've got to pay an exuberant amount of money to do it. And it's like, you've got to do all these quests to get to the end of the storyline, and then you've got to go to Terminal and pay 100 million rubles, and then you would escape from Tarkov. And that would be your payment to leave. Yeah, I think that's what their plan is. Undistinguished. Is it Pony? But yeah, content-wise, I, I, I don't know what they've said in the past that needs to be in the game to make it 1.0. Because they've said that certain things are getting pushed back to 1.0. Um, that would be like clans, the whole the clan corporation alliance thing, that's going to get pushed back to 1.0. The game was still wiped after 1.0. Nikita was thinking about having like a a consistent instance and then like the seasonal, kind of like Path of Exile system. I'm, gonna, I'm stuck in my tooth, I'm going to get it out. I don't think there was any lag. Point one four. We've got eighty six patches to go. Could be. Guess he's up. somewhere in here. Fuck, I'm going to die to the plate on my front.
You gonna get him before I can find him? Come on, Sturman, where are you? He's probably already dead. It's so fucking lame. Like, what are you meant to do? I'll oh, do this task, but like, everyone's farming him for 15 kills for. All these fucking other tasks. You have to shoot him from a certain distance because, you know, Jaeger knows if you got too close. Gonna know balls. Someone's gonna kill me here, but by the off chance that Sturman somehow starts running around and he's still alive, I'm 90% sure this guy's just looting him right now on the other side. There's, there's two dead guys there, I think. And there's one dead here. Thank you. I have a backpack. Last raid, there was a dude running around with a fucking thermal. This raid couldn't even get there fast enough. Do I even bother checking it out? Like. Hello? Excuse me, sir. There's a SVD. That's one of these boys. Hello? 
I'm just looking for Sturman for my hunting trip task. Hello, friendly? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, there's a player, really geared one, running away from us. I think he got Sturman. Yeah, yeah, friendly, friendly, friendly. Oh, your friend, your friend. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Did, okay, okay, okay. did you get Sturman? Sturman dead? Uh, someone, someone. I'm, I'm someone down. Okay, okay, okay. Bye bye. And the oat stuck in your teeth? I don't think I would have got there in time, bro. And the oats are still stuck there. That's the annoying part. Loving the hardcore series. Bravo, good sir. Thanks, Bracken Smack. Thanks so much for two years. I did this quest yesterday. He was inside the cabin. I had to bait him out and run fast to get him. It was so stupid. Yep. <sighs> like, I know people have mixed feelings about Shooterborn in Heaven, but I prefer Shooterborn in Heaven how it is now because it's like you just have to get clean, bolty kills. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, like, oh, you know, I killed a guy from 97 meters away. And it's like, how the fuck does mechanic know? The people that don't like it now is because they are forced to use a bolty. Whereas, you know, in the past, you didn't have to. You could do it like an M4 or something. I hit that guy once. I think it's good with the bolter. You should be aiming for the head really anyway. Mm -hmm. The problem with the 125 meters is certain maps made it really difficult. And it made it like, if you wanted to do interchange kills, there was really only like one good spot to do it. And that was Camping Emicon. One sprayed Glucker and two boys with one Keep spray with no quest. Work. 
Now Helps I have the quest of no blocker. Mm hmm Oh no that. I don't like Tarkov Shooter Part 4, but I just suck with Balties. Been stuck on Been it for loving forever. The hardcore series this season. Thanks for the sick content pest. No worries. I played Arcane. Thanks for four months. I'm new. I'm not even going to bother with Shooter Born in Heaven. It is so much more possible now. Couldn't see again next to 21 months. Any advice on Psycho and Part 8? I did it on Factory. And Henzo thinks they're 19 months. Morning, Finian. Sultana Veed, thanks for 13 months. Uh, Solith's been good today. Yeah, but you're a three times EFT champion. I ain't getting Psycho done factory. If you've gotten up to the point where you're up Psycho Sniper and Tuck of Shooter Part 8, you can do it on factory. I guess think of it like this. The amount of attempts you're going to get is going to be nice and fast and fluid. Whereas if you try and do it on like another map, you could be waiting around on woods for like three hours to get the attempt to kill five people. And then um, like you die on that fourth one and now you have to do another three hours of it. Whereas on Factory, you could get it technically done in one raid. Do you think we see more cheaters this white because of view profile and it was always like that or just this white? I think view profile is only a gauge and not a confirmation. And I think there's a lot of people calling cheater just on a fucking view profile alone. Like, it's just a normal death, and they're like, look, view profile. Oh, this guy's got 15 KD. Oh, another cheater. Whose KD is 15 though? I do a lot of like silly runs and stuff and I'm on, I think it's PMC only, I'm on 6.7, 6.8. And like I'm talking, I just run around like an idiot all the time. Like if actually somebody's half deep into the game, getting over a 10 KD is not really that difficult. Yeah, scavs count towards your KD. I think last wipe, there would have been people who've like 
30 plus KDs all the time. And if you could have viewed profile, people would have lost their minds. Because last while, scads were spawning in packs of five everywhere, particularly on streets. There was a group of streamers, um, mostly from China and Japan, that I didn't even realize what they were doing until they did that event where you like, they had the leaderboards. And I'm like, how the fuck are these guys getting nearly 80,000 XP an hour? And what they were doing is they were going nighttime streets and they were literally just running circles around streets, just head tapping all the scavs at nighttime. And they'd get, they'd get a raid done with like 60 to 100 scavs. And the way the XP system works is like every time you kill another scav in the raid or another player in the raid or whatever, you get like, it's almost like a bonus to the kill streak thing. And so they were getting like anywhere between 60 and 100,000 XP a raid. It was taking them like the full 45 minutes of streets to do it. But I, I think I saw someone get like 100, 110,000 XP in a raid. And um, they killed Gluck of that one as well. Because obviously the, the, the library bonus and all that. But the, um, the thing that... But you think about it, if they died every second raid or third raid doing that, they would easily have like 100 plus KD. I feel like the China server is very similar to the other servers. Like Australia, Japan, and Air West. I think they're all very similar. When it comes to the amount of cheaters. I think Australia server, you get the most amount of rage cheaters. Like once they just don't even try and hide it. They're just like full spin around, just killing everything. Next death, I'll go labs and I'll get the, uh, the raider kills done, so at least that's one less thing to worry about. Did I join over? What video was that? It must have been a little while ago. The problem is, like, I'm not trying to be rude here, but I think the Tarkov community is kind of to the point now where it's, it's a little far gone on the toxicity spectrum. Like it's just, I don't think there's any coming back from it. There are so many angry people and vocal angry people that just all they want to do is complain about cheaters and like the state of the game and all that kind of stuff to the point where 
it consumes the, the narrative a lot for a lot of people. I think that's gaming in general. I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I don't play lots of other games, but... I blame toxic content creators. They help foster that shit. We need more positive content creators like you. I think... Um, I guess the way I see it is... A lot of people can resonate. Resi resonate? It resonates a lot with people when they're dying to things that they don't understand. And it's easy to blame someone else than their own, like, stuff-ups. Like, there's been times, 100%, I've called someone a cheater that hasn't been cheating. Or, like, and it's just like, oh, that fucking piece of shit cheater. Like, and it's like, they obviously probably weren't cheating, but I was just in a, in a bad mind state. And then there's also, like, the, the issues with Tarkov that makes it impossible to know if someone is cheating or not. Like, I don't know if you saw the clip of me shooting a guy through a wall... And I got that drunken master achievement. Like, that guy would have 100% gone, that guy's cheating. He just shot me straight through a fucking wall. You know? And, like, without knowing the other person's perspective, it's, like, you're hard to tell, right? Like, like, if I just shot that wall and I hadn't seen the guy run from right to left thinking he was about to run into the open, if I didn't shoot that wall... Sorry, if I didn't seen that bit there then and he only saw my perspective of me shooting him through the wall like that like he would 100 percent be convinced i was a cheater moist pestily stan glucose guardian thanks to tier two for 43 months long time dude yeah anyway i've had enough talking about this topic it consumes you guys Good spawn if he's up. All right, no lag, so he's hoping. I'm sure I need AOE. I haven't played it, but it looks fun when you play it. Um, I've been playing a little bit off stream, but not in the last few weeks. I want to do a 2v1 versus Hera. Me and Welwyn versus Hera. We both need to train up and get better. We're both sitting around a 12 to 1300 rating. We need to get that up to like 14, 1500. And I think we could probably do it.
Come on, please be up. I heard a noise. I just spot it with the thermal. It's just a normal sky. Guys. God damn it, Leroy. That is is gonna kill me though. Let's see if the goons are up. Twenty six percent, I think it is for most bosses right now. Do you think with age you're inclined towards more of games like AOE rather than FPS? Just curious. Nope. No. I think mean, you find fun, whatever you find fun. I played a lot of RTS games when I was like late teens. Some of my friends were the best in Australia. Um, one of one of my friends he went to Korea to. Represent Australia in Age of Empires 2. Well, it might have been Age of Empires 1. No, it was, it was 2. Age of Empires 2. <sighs> Brian Dragon, thanks for 4 months. Chesticles, thanks for 7 months. Over my lifetime, I've played pretty much every type of video game. Like, I love ARPGs. I love games like Diablo and Path of Exile. I, I just don't find my value in my time in playing them. Pa Path of Exile, I still find enjoyment from because I feel like it's a good challenge. Um, but Diablo is just a grind. I don't really find it a challenge, it's just pure grind. FES games take a lot of reflexes, so I thought with age I might start losing fights. Um... Like, you know those, like, 14 to 17-year-old kids that can build, like, a full tower in, in Fortnite in the time it takes you to fucking think about what key you got to press? Those kind of people you're, you're always going to lose to no matter what because those people are just naturally talented people. But if you're one of those naturally talented people and you've played video games your whole life, then you're generally going to be still very good even at an older age. If you're at an older age and you want to become one of those 14-year-old, like, freaks, I mean, freak in a good way, then you're probably going to take a lot longer because you're not going to be able to dedicate as much time to that craft. So, for example, when I was about 16 years old, 17 years old, I was one of the best in, in Australia for Half-Life. Like, the shit I could do in Half-Life... Even if I, I could show you a video now, you would just be like, what the fuck did he just do? Like, I'd be bouncing around the map, bunny hopping, like, gauze cannon, just fucking flicking it, and then shooting someone with a crossbow in the air whilst also then launching a grenade straight after it. Like, it was crazy shit. 
And that's where I got my aim from. I think I was meant to go that way. I have done a full fucking lap and gotten nowhere. I could go this way. I need. I want to be over this side of the lake on the approach. Oh, well. let's just do it. I want it to be over there. So over fucking running woods. The only spawn we've had, and it's been literally Fall over. We're still standing. Full health. What? <laughs> okay. We're ready for 1.0. Yep. This is tedious. Yeah, that's why I don't do it. Like, and I've pretty much stopped doing the boss farmings for a while now. I came back to do a couple. All right. Uh, five, seven. Generally, don't like doing it with a sign. All right, six raiders. Let's do it. You have no lab card. Did you buy a red this swap? Yeah. I found I found green and I got the black card from a quest. Alright, add on loading so you don't miss any of the raid.
Will there be a lab to boss? I don't know. I don't know. No, Glucker doesn't spawn on lads. The only time we spawn on lads has been events. Did we survive the last raid? No, we did a fast extract. Any chance seeing you play Grey War Zone Warfare? Do you know when the beta is? I might be around for it. I've got a, I'm going away for two weeks in March, April. End of March, start of April. Ice extract, you blew up. Yeah, throw a grenade at my feet, you blow up. What's your problem, bro? Spawn at black key card. I guess we're uh, making money and not going for raiders. Oh, heard someone void or some sort of audio pop. They're coming. Killed one then. Battle vacuum, thanks to 66 months.
Ten. Seven months yeet. I need to make, I need to answer this phone call. Pause. Where are they? Oh, I think I killed one over a black. I don't normally have a sight on here. I don't like a sight. I don't know why I'm doing this. I need raiders. I'm still looting that. I have goblin. Should 
Should we just reset? Oh, actually, I do need a rooster. not push the button that mutes announcements it only mutes the um parking i hit the guy 80 percent of my shots so i hit four of the five shots on him if i didn't have a side i would have headshot him What do I do with 20 mil? Buy thick item cases? How much is a thick item case these days? Yeah, I have buy not roll on. 22 million? The fuck? I should take in like an MP7. Pestily salute text thirty one. Uh, Insidious, thanks for 31 months, dude. 31 salutes, hey? Oh. Why do you use a UN helmet? Because it looks cool. No, nah, I didn't get Sturman. He spawned once, but was already dead. Mm -hmm. EFT Wiki Assessment Part 3. We finished that with... Okay, Key to the Tower is the next one. So we need to hand over... We need to... Okay, keep an eye out for... A working LCD, uh, Coftum. We've got the Coftum. We've got the military circuit boards. 
insulating tape and plexiglass. So apparently we can craft in the hideout with plexiglass, so we should do that. And then 24 hours later, we can encode it. Okay, so not tomorrow, day after. I think we can unlock Lightkeeper. My pets don't watch you on Twitch as much as YouTube. Every hardcore episode so far. Is Kappa on hardcore 100% confirmed? Yes, I'll start doing that next week. We will attempt to get there next week. I'm on a cooldown at the moment, Kilo. I've got two, two tasks left. Is that you're gonna have to do that? Thank you for the great series. Sure, I've gone. Red, but HC has been amazing. They're calling elevators. Okay, raiders just spawned. Seventeen. I'm so pumped for hardcore kappa. I'm glad. This garbage kit only needed for ballet lover. There's a second task that needs it. Breeze lol, thanks for 17 months. There was a raider down the bottom, right? Where the fuck was the, was the raider? Like, I was trying to find him. That was like a three-man or something.
Cool. All right. I gotta get going. I've got an appointment today that I've gotta get to. Uh, oh, I said we've gotta leave in an hour, so. Wouldn't mind having a shower before we go. Uh, this week's slightly shorter streams because I've got appointments all week because I was away the last two weeks. So I had to book everything in for this week. And then, uh, but next week, we've cleared the schedule so I can do hardcore all next week. So we need three more quests to get Kappa. And we've got two more, uh, lots of like cooldowns or one more cooldown to do Lightkeeper. So tomorrow we get on, we do the Lightkeeper quest. That will take us a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, we need the plexiglass and whatever. We should craft the plexiglass now. Um, and then we're going to do like one quest after that. And then we've got a 24 hour cooldown and then we do like two more quests and then we have Lightkeeper unlocked. Um, so that's the objective of this week, Lightkeeper and, and that. All right, cool. Plexiglass are not going to take long at all. Um, so yeah, should be good. Should be good. We should have Lightkeeper under, uh, un, oh, Lightkeeper done pretty quickly. Tomorrow we've got, um, uh, I, I can stream a little bit longer tomorrow. And then the day after I've got Duos with Aqua. So hopefully we'll have, we'll get Kappa with Aqua. Kappa with Aqua. All right. What, uh, let's go. That one. 18 minutes, 18 minutes. That one? Oh, it's got five minutes. Mm, that one. Cool. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for the follow-up subs. You're amazing as always. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Love your content pest. Love you too. Especially hardcore. Sunbury Sensei, thanks so much for the 20 months, dude.